Welcome back everyone, this is Sean Thomas on Hearthstone. We've got the powerful Paladin deck as we continue to push through the ranks. Uh, I think we're, what was it, three win streak, a loss to a mage deck, and then a three win streak. So six and one is our current stat. Let's see what we've got here. Uther versus Uther. All right. I will fight with honor. I will command the light. So as much as I like these three low levels, I'm going to want to ha go ahead and try for it. Hmm. I do have some one cards. I'm just thinking that this would be nice to have these double ups on the knife juggler. So let's go ahead and keep this. Usually I try to get at least a one one cost card if I'm starting out, but hopefully we'll get lucky on the on the draw. So the focus around this deck is speed. <laughs> Would you look at that? Job All right. done. So I'm going to try to have quick turns on my part. I will explain as I go through on the tactics. Um, but the more games you get in, especially with a powerful deck, the, the faster you're going to go up the ranks. Gales off. Red alert. So I'm going to go ahead and use, well if I use this, he may or may not attack it. If he does, he'll lose it out on his Divine Shield. But we'll go ahead and get two Murlocs. I didn't want him knocking out my Knife Juggler. Once we clear this minion, as long as he doesn't have any more divine shells, I'll feel more comfortable using the knife juggler. Mm. So in the last few games, we've gotten dominance by about five mana, and that's that's kind of on par with what we're looking to do. Some some of them uh, tend to slow you down if they got healers, or with the mage in their case. You see all these low cost minions that have very little health, and. Uh, as a result, they're able to just use their fire blast, and you know, the paladin does that, but a mage would use a fire blast and knock it out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and force him to keep on the offensive with me here. I know I wanted to use these in combination with the knife juggler, um, I but. Go ahead and let him burn his divine shields against them. Yes, he's trying to keep me from getting that uh, <laughs> the board dominance with all these minions. All right, let's see if I can get lucky here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw out my knife juggler. I really uh, okay, that worked out. Probably should have taken out the other guy. It's probably a mistake there. But either way, we will have board dominance provided he doesn't come out with something heavy. Because I'll, I'll throw out another knife juggler or uh, use the true silver champion. Reporting for duty. The only reason you silence is just to get a minion on the board. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why he would have wanted to go after the one charge there. Did not do him any good. That was a mistake. Yeah, he recognized it. Um, I think I'm gonna try to make a break for damage on this guy. He used a silence. He may have another. Uh, I 
take it back. I'll go ahead and use another knife juggler. Maybe get get lucky and take out his all. Not that time. So he's going to go after my remaining knife juggler with his L. I was hoping to take that one out. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get map dominance again. That's our focus. Spread the damage around. This will clear out both of his. Both of his taunts are down now. So we don't really have too much of a lead coming into 6 mana. I mean, normally we'd have liked to have him below uh, 18 health. I am freed from the curse. Kind of a waste of a card, in my opinion. Reporting for duty. <clears throat> Alright, so I've been waiting to use this Murloc Knight. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Reporting for duty. <coughs> Hopefully I get a charge out of him. Not today. So we're gonna go ahead and drop that one. Uh, he's gonna take out this knife juggler next round, likely. Job's done. Consecration is my my enemy at this point. If he pulls one of those AOE kind of cards, that's uh, another reason why mage is uh, such a trouble. For this kind of a deck. Alright, we don't want to use this quite yet. We will instead use our mucklas. He's going to use. He's going to use either of these two minions to... Well, if I take away one of his minions, he might be forced to use his paladin to, t to take out that guy. Reporting for duty. Alright. So let's go ahead and clear... The battle. The battle. I could use both these guys to clear it, but it, right now I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave it. He might buff it to take out Mucklis, but... The battle. This will give me a little bit more advantage on damage. And right now, he's thinking he's got to shut down this Mukla's champion, and he's likely going to use his Paladin to do it unless he can use a card to buff his Maiden of the Lake. Reporting for duty. There's not much he can do, it's pretty much game. Well, the taunt right there is likely what saved him, unless he uses that maiden to kill something. Alright, there you have it. I've got a buff, a plus three attack, I can throw any of these guys, as well as a four true silver attack. So it's it's pretty much game. Alright, so I need seven mana there, two more. There's not much I can do with it, so let's go ahead and clear the board of these the guys. Battle. I'll give a three on here, it's five, plus the four from True Silver, plus the two here is game. For justice! The battle! Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed. If you learned something or <laughs> had a good time, please uh, hit like. Uh, if you'd like to see additional decks played out similar to this, as far as uh, you know, coming out of the ranks, uh, please uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see. If you want to see additional content or be aware of when it comes out, please subscribe. It's free, and I'll catch you next time.